Hey everybody, we're going to the moon. That's according to Transportation Secretary and Interim NASA Administrator Sean Duffy. The space agency is fast tracking a plan to build a nuclear reactor there. And the goal is to be ready to launch by the first quarter of 2030. Take a listen. If we're going to engage um, in the race to the moon and the race to Mars, we have to get our act together. We have to, we have to marshal all of our resources, all of our focus on going to the moon, which is what we're going to do. Sunrise on the Hill's Trevor Shirley joins us this morning. And Trevor, you know, a lot of people hear nuclear reactor on the moon. Mm -hmm. What, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a little, Why it's a little shocking of an idea. But apparently we've learned this had been in the works, at least in discussions, for some time. The initial plan that NASA was considering was to put a 40 kiloton nuclear reactor on the moon. Now with these new plans, we understand they've enhanced that. They're looking at a 100 uh, kilowatt nuclear reactor to put on the moon. And the goal is to get this going operationally by the year 2030. That would put it five years ahead of where a similar joint venture is already being planned between China and Russia, certainly something that the U.S. does not want to see happening. And so they decided to accelerate these plans, try to get this reactor going by that 2030 deadline. Um, it is August 6, 2025, so they're going to do this yeah. in five years? Uh, it seems aspirational. You know, that's what I kept thinking. How are they going to get this done in five years? But the administration believes it's possible. They believe it's uh, a primary or a you know, priority in terms of additional space exploration, getting our astronauts onto the moon, giving them the resources they need to stay there for extended amounts of time. But then also from that national security standpoint, getting this up and going before that rush China joint venture can get off the ground. Well, it, it's interesting how science fiction starts to become reality because it would seem this is a first step to at least small moon colonization and then looking looking beyond there to Mars, perhaps. Yeah, and you know, they've talked a lot about this next step in space exploration, getting astronauts to Mars. I mean, that's still a huge lift, but that's been a priority of Elon Musk, who has, you know, billions of dollars worth of U.S. government contracts. It's something that NASA has been talking about. And so at this point, it's, it's I think, still uh, a ways off, but it's something that's being talked about seriously. Uh, environmental energy concerns, I mean, Nuclear reactors can melt down. What happens if there's a nuclear accident on the moon? You know, they haven't, they didn't get into that. It's the, <laughs> really? it's the small details they didn't seem to, to talk about, including the cost. They haven't really talked about what this cost, what the price tag is going to be. That may change the dynamics once they get a cost estimate in place, but at this point, that's something we're still waiting on. All right. Trevor Shirley joining us. We appreciate money, money, it. Money, money, money. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks, Trevor. Uh,